Okay. To start this carnival, please, you can have a prayer for us, please. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to you this evening for your love and kindness towards us. We thank you that we can come and study your words. I pray that you will be with us. And as Brother James lead out, that your Holy Spirit will be with us all and with those who will be studying so that he can give them the understanding they need to understand your words. Mm -hmm. I pray that whatever is said and done will be done according to your name, honor, and glory, and according to what your words say. Bless all those who are coming into the Bible study. I pray that you will give them the understanding too, through the aid of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Annabel. And I want to remember you about what we studied last week. On last week, we studied about uh, the law, faith, and grace. We saw that the law show us our sin. We saw that after we see that we sin, we need to pray God when we go pray to ask for forgiveness. We need to have faith in that prayer. And after we saw also when you have faith, God going to grace you. We saw law. We saw that the Greek word nomos or dikalogos. And we saw faith is pistis. We had it on Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, the meaning of faith. And we saw grace, the charisma, the word, you know, a favor, unmerited favor. And we saw the two alliances. We saw uh, the first covenant and the second covenant, the old and the new covenant. And today we are about to study the fourth commandment, one of the ten commandments, that is the Sabbath. If we see the word Sabbath, the meaning for Sabbath is rest, feast. And the word Sabbath and Ibu is Shabbat. But any feast that we have, any day that we have off in Canada, United States, any country, they, they are Sabbaths. But the Sabbaths we are about to study today is the seventh day. That is the Sabbath day, the Saturday, the Shabbat and Ibu. And if we go back, before Jesus came, there was a lot of Shabbat for the Jewish people. They used to have Pesach. Pesach is a Shabbat they call Passover. They used to have also Shavuot, that is the Pentecostal Shabbat. They used to have a, a, a Shabbat, a Sabbat that called also Wash Anana, that is for the new year, they always have it for the new year. It's an honor. And you know, now it's about to be on, they just have it. They just have it now. And they used to have also Yom Kippur. That is the expiation date. Sukosh, Tabernacle. They used to have a lot of, of Sabbath. But any days that is off from your work or from the country like in Canada, we know June 24 in Quebec, July 1st for Canada, those are Sabbaths. But a lot of those Sabbath we see for the Jewish people is ceremonial Shabbat. When Jesus come, those Shabbat were the shadow that bring us to Christ. Is they were like a teacher that bring us to the master. The master come, we studied that last time. Since Jesus come, we don't need all those laws no more. But what about the Sabbath, the seventh day, the Sabbath we are about to study? Where did Sabbath come from? Is that come from Moses or God himself? Or with the Jewish people? Let's go to the first book in the Bible, the Bereshit, the book of the beginning. We're going to see where the Shabbat start, where the Shabbat come from. And Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, and Genesis chapter 2, the book of Bereshit, chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, we are about to see 
when God gave Sabbath, if there was any Jew, some people say the Sabbath is only for Jewish people. And we're going to see in the Garden of Eden, at the creation before sin, God gave the Sabbath, the Sabbath start. If, if anyone find it for, you can read it, please. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Yeah. On the seventh days, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rest on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. Mm -hmm. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rest from all his work, which God created and made. Amen, my brother. We see that. Elohim had made three man thing on the seventh day of the creation. The first thing God done, he rests. My question to anyone that is listening to me today, can God be tired? The answer is in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28. Isaiah 40 verse 28, the Bible tells us our oh, God cannot be tired. So why God have to rest? Hmm. What this is what we need to know. Why God have to rest for and God cannot be tired? And you know, when God, when Jesus, you know, spoke to the woman at John chapter 4, the Samaritan woman, and he said, God is spirit. Hmm. So, why he rests? That's the question we have to, to answer today. And Isaiah 40 verse 28 is very clear. Say God cannot be tired. So God rests to give an example to Adam and Eve. You find Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28? If you do not find it, it's yeah. okay. So God gave an example to Adam and Eve. Let's say you have a child. You tell to your child you shall not lie. But you are the one that teach that child to lie. So mm -hmm. that child will lie, you know, after, you know, you are the one that teach that child to lie. So the first person to give the example is you as parent. So God didn't need the rest, but he rest to give an example to Adam and Eve at the Garden of Eden, because the Bible is very clear. Second thing God has done in that day, after he rest, what else he done? God bless the seven day. Mm -hmm. And first Chronicle 17, verse 27. When God bless something, for how many years God bless it? And first Chronicle chapter 17, verse 27. If someone found it, let's have the Bible answer. I want you to see it yourself because. I don't want you to say, James say, I want you to read it to see the Bible mm -hmm. say. And First Chronicles 17 verse 27, what the Bible say about that? When God bless something, because we need to know if the seven days still bless. Now you, have been, uh -huh. now you have been pleased to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue before you forever. For you have blessed it, O Lord, and it shall be blessed forever. Amen. This is a prayer from David. When God bless something, the Bible says bless forever. So my question, is the seventh day of the week still bless? Yeah. It's yeah. still bless. Yeah. This is what the Bible says. When God bless something, it's blessed forever. Yeah. So the third thing, we see God bless, God uh, bless the seventh day. If you go for the Hebrew word, those who are learning a few Hebrew words with me, is Bahak. When God bless something, and the second thing God did, he rest, you know. And now, what is the third thing? God hallowed that day. He sanctified. When you take the Hebrew word, is kadash. That means he set it apart for special things. That day that God set apart, the seventh day, can we say that day equal with all the other days of the week? No. Spiritually, no. An hour, yes. But spiritually, that day God rests in it, he bless it, and he sanctified that day. You know, set it apart for a special reason. And brothers and sisters, or family, or Bible student, 
this is very clear. There was no Jewish people. We are right here at the Garden of Eden, at the beginning. So for those who say Shabbat was made just for Jewish people, that from here we already see that's a big lie. If we keep reading our Bible, now God about to choose one nation. After God chose that nation, that was the Israelite people. And God going to give them one example. We are in Exodus chapter 16. Exodus, Exodus chapter 16, Shamot, Shamot 16, and verse, we are about verse 19 going to 30. We are about to see that God for 40 years at the desert, God have to feed the people with the manna. And Exodus chapter 16, let's read to see if God showed them that example. He don't work on the Sabbath day. Let's start from verse 19. Let me tell you about that story. When the people was in the desert, the people have to eat. There was no food, no garden in, in the desert. God have to feed them. God give them the manna. But when is days, on the weekdays, God give them for one day. God said, do not let those food sleep. Mm -hmm. He told them, if you let it sleep, they will get infects. You will find warm in them. Some people, they don't follow God's instruction. What they do, they they try to go at night by 12, by 1. You know, some people like to wake up at midnight, 1 o'clock to eat. They go to the fridge. And when they wait for start late last night, at the night, late at night, and those getting infect, warm, get to those. Because God tell them, look, you have to listen when I speak to you. And when it's come the sixth day, on the Friday, God say, now I'm going to give you double and it will not be infects. And why God do that? Because when it's come to the seventh day, the Shabbat, God do not work. When some of them, they wake up on the Sabbath day, they go on the desert, see if they find any manna. There was none because for 40 years, God want to give them a lesson how to keep that mm -hmm. Sabbath day holy. Let's see it in the Bible. I don't want you to think I am the one that say that story is not in the Bible. And if you find it in Exodus chapter 16, the book, Exodus chapter 16, verse 19 to 30, 31. Can someone read it for me, please? Mm -hmm. Exodus. Mm -hmm. And Moses said, let no man leave of it till the morning. Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto Moses, but some of them left of it until the morning, and it bred worms and stink. And Moses was wroth with them. And they gathered in every morning, every man according to his eating, and when the sun waxed hot, it melted. And it came to pass that on the sixth day, they gathered twice as many bread, or as much bread. Two omers for one man, and all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses. And he said unto them, This is what, this is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath. Mm -hmm unto the Lord. Bake that which ye have baked today, and seeth that ye seeth, or ye will seeth, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to keep until the morning. Amen. You get to verse 31? All right. So, Thank you, Leal. Uh, we welcome Sister Elisa. That's just make it now. And it's very clear here about the manna story. God, for 40 years, God showed the people of Israel at the desert. He not work on the Sabbath day. So God 
now about to give the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai, at Oeb. We are now in Exodus, Shamot 20. We are about to read verse 8 to 11. Exodus 20, verse 8 to 11. This is why God is going to say, remember, because God already teach them that lesson. For 40 years in the desert, now God is about to tell them, remember. Is anybody want to read it? Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11. Let's see the fourth commandment. We read it last time. Let's see what the fourth commandment says. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Mm -hmm. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. Mm -hmm. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall, not, you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your people, nor your stranger who is within your gate. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. It's very clear. Thank you, Sister Annabelle. It's very clear here. The Bible says, remember to keep the seven day, not a seven day. Why the Bible say the seven day, not a seven day? Because if the Bible says, remember a seven day, that means you can keep any day of the week. Mm -hmm. God say the seven day of the week. So next topic, we will see how they give their, their names. We will see the seven day of the week. We all know it. If you go to your calendar, any dictionary, the Bible dictionary, which is seven day is Saturday. Sabado in Spanish. And God said, remember to keep that day holy. Why remember? Because they knew it before. And God said, what? Even your children, strangers, visitors, anybody that is in your house, they're not supposed to work in that day, you and all of them. This is a day that God set apart for human being to worship him. And when it's come to verse 11, the Bible shows us the Sabbath is a seal of God. A seal is a mark. My question, what is an a seal? Let's say the President of the United States sends you a letter. And that letter, at the end, you're going to find a seal. If there is no seal in that letter, that means it's not come from the White House. Okay? What is you find in, you find in that seal? The first thing you find is the name of that person. The second thing you find is his title. And the third thing is his territory. So when you read verse, when you read verse 11, what is his name? His name is God. They say Elohim in the beginning. And not only his name is God, what is his title? He created in verse 11. He's the creator. What is his territory? He created heaven, earth, everything. So mm -hmm. this is the seal of God. This is why Ezekiel chapter 20, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 12 and 20 will say the same thing. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 12 and 20, the Bible, here they're going to use sabbatons. Why are they going to use sabbatons? Those Greek word for sabbats. So we are about to see that God show us Sabbath. It's his sign. Let's read it. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 12 and 20. Moreover, also I gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between me and them, that they, may, that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctify them. Now Anybody? with, uh, and hollow my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you that ye may know that I am the Lord your God. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Elisan. The Bible is very clear here. Anybody that keep the Sabbath day holy, you show that God is your Lord. He is your God. And not only that, the Bible say, God say, this is a sign between me and my children. That's not anybody that will take the Sabbath. You have to be children of God to keep the Sabbath day. And brothers and sisters, some people, even they still read the Bible, they get to that. They see, this is a sign. This is one uniform to show 
all those people that go into church, but those people, they are special. They are my people. This is a site that will live forever between me and my children. And not only that, some say, yes, 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 but is only for Jewish people. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 56. Isaiah chapter 56, 1 to 8. We are about to show you again, the Sabbath is for <laughs> mankind, for humanity, not for only one nation. Isaiah chapter 56, 1 to 8. And I know some Bible, they say for all nation calling, the title. If you see your title, I don't know, some of them say salvation for all. That means all nation is calling to keep the Sabbath day holy. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah chapter 56, 1 to 8, what we find in the Bible, please. Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that does, does this. One second, Elisa. Blessing, what? Is the man that does this. When they say man here, the word they use here is enosh. When they say man is not, you know, uh, female or male, they're not talking about male. They're talking the humanity, all humanity. When they say enosh, any man that from Adam, they call also Adama, all the humanity, blessing men that do that. Keeping the Sabbath. You want to keep reading? Keep reading, my sister. Blessing men, you can start again, the verse. And the son of the man of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the Enosh say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the Enosh, that keep my Sabbath, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a, pal a place, and a name better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the strangers, the stranger that joins themselves to the Lord, to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants, everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted how, upon mine altar. For mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. The Lord God, with, which gathered the outcast of Israel, saith, Yet will I gather others to him, beside, beside those that are gathered unto him. Amen. Thank you, my sister, Amen. Elisa. Welcome, Peter, on board. Thank you, Peter, for coming. All right. Thank you. Here, after we see Enosh, God called all the nation, humanity, to keep that day. And Brother Peter, we are in Isaiah 56, 1 to 8. God called all nations, even the Enosh. What, mean, what was those Enosh? Those men, they were cast all, you know, to serve those general, those king at that time. You know, they cast all them so they can, they can be, you know, have no, you know, women not married. This is why they cast all those people. So, even stranger, God calling all stranger to come and God make a lot of promise. He will give them a new name. He will change their character. And not only that, God say, I will, the, my house will call a house of prayer for all those nations. Mm -hmm. He promised where the house of the Lord is and heaven. He promised all those who keep that Sabbath day, he will take, up to, take them to heaven. And when you read verse 8, the Bible is very clear. Not only the Jewish people that kept the Sabbath, God said he will gather a what? Or the nation. Today is why I like to, together, they will keep that day holy. So the Bible is very clear here. It's not only one nation. It's the same thing we read last time when we read in, in the book of, uh, because we read about the son of David. That say all men, Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We read that last time, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, the last two verse, verse 12, uh, 12 and, and 13. That say all nation is calling, all nation is calling to keep God's laws. We read that last time when we were studying about the Ten Commandments. 
So it's very clear, brothers and sisters, all nations, God called all nations to keep that day holy. And how God called that day, and Isaiah 58, verse 13 to 14, because the next chapter will tell us how God called that day, because some people call Sabbath. Exactly. It's Sabbath of Adventist or Sabbath of Jewish. Let's see how God called that day. And Isaiah chapter 58, verse 13 and 14. You know, when you talk about your house, you say, my house. When you talk about your car, you say, my car, my. So how God called the seventh day of the week? Let's see that. Isaiah 58, verse 13 and 14. If thou turn away the foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Who spoken? The mouth of the Lord. What did verse 13 say? Can you do verse 13 again? Just verse 13. If? If you turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day. My holy day. Uh-huh. Yeah. You don't do your will in that day. You don't go to work in that day. You don't go, you know, sell, buy in that day. Next study, we will see that, you know, the only way we can do things, like buy, we will see how in the next Bible study. You see, it's very clear here, God called the Sabbath day my holy day. This is the same thing when John and John uh, and Revelation chapter 1 verse 10, when John have his vision, that was on the Sabbath day. The Greek word they use there is pausia. He was in his pausia day, that means, and, and the Lord's day. When you read John chapter 1 verse 10, and some, some Bible now, they try to replace it by Sunday. Sunday never be the Lord's day. We will study about that very soon. But God called the Sabbath his holy day. And God make a promise. If you don't do your will in that day, you go to worship him. You make it your delight. God say, I will take you where? I will take you to my house. I will take you the, the same place I promised to, to, to Jacob. I will take him. I'm going to take you to that place also in heaven. Brothers and sisters, it's not about, you know, Seventh-day Adventists. It's not about Jewish people. This is Lord's Day, the seventh day. Some people, after they read that, they say, look, what about Jesus? Jesus didn't have a day to worship when he came on earth. Is that true, Jesus, when he was on earth? He didn't have a day special to go to the temple? Let's see Jesus and the Sabbath. We are about to finish with Jesus and the Sabbath today. We are about to read Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4, verse 16. Luke 4, verse 16. If you read in the verse 13 and Luke chapter 4, that tell you about Jesus and Nazareth. And now we are in verse 16. After we will read verse 31 to 32. But Luke chapter 4, let's see which day when Jesus was on earth, he used to go to church. The temple is the church, the assembly of God. Okay? If you find it, they use the same word in Greek, Iglesia, Iglesia. That means church assembly of God. Which day Jesus used to go at the temple? Luke 4, 16, please. Luke chapter 4, verse 16. And he became to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. And he stood up for, for to, to read. Amen. The Bible says he came where? To Nazareth. Okay? So, has his custom? What means his custom? When they say custom, what is the meaning of custom? Has an habit. It's something that person usually do. It's not something that person do one in a while. As his custom, every Sabbath day, Jesus has to go to the temple. And not only he go to the temple, we used to preach. Who used to read the Bible? He Jesus. stood up and he read the Bible. Okay? If you're not a member of the temple, will you be able to preach on that day in the temple? 
if you're not a member of the temple, will you be able to preach? If you read verse 17, you will see Jesus start to preach in verse 7, 17, still in Luke chapter 4. He said, you know, the spirit of the Lord, verse 17. What he said, verse 17. And there was de delivered unto him the book of the prophet Ezias. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. You see, he was preaching in that book. 18, he was telling the people, you know, the prophecy is accomplished now because he come to open those blind people's eyes, you know, to heal those who are sick. And, you know, the Bible, brothers and sisters, is very clear. Jesus used to keep that day holy. What is about 31, 32? Still on Luke chapter 4. Verse 31, 32. And came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. You see, what was his doctrine here? His doctrine was the Sabbath day. When he used to preach, he preached with authority. Because the Holy Spirit was in him. So, brothers and sisters, Jesus used to keep that day holy. If you read Mark chapter 6, and Mark chapter 6, verse 1 to 2, Mark 6, verse 1 to 2, Mark chapter 6, 1 to 2, before the Sabbath come, Jesus and the disciples, they were waiting for that day to go to the temple. They were waiting for that day. Immediately, Sabbath come, what they do? They went to the temple. Still in Mark chapter 2, verse 28, how Jesus called the Sabbath? Mark chapter 2, verse 28. 27, 28. Mark chapter 2, verse 27, 28. Mark chapter 2, verse 27, 28. Who is the master? Who is the Lord of the Sabbath? Yes. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not for the Sabbath, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord, also of the Sabbath. Amen. So, who gave the Sabbath? <clears throat> Jesus gave the Sabbath. We remember when we were studying about, is Jesus God? We studied that in John chapter 1, verse 45, when Nathanael, you know, uh, met Philip, they say, I found the one that gave the law to Moses. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, you know, I kept my father commandments in John chapter 15. It's very clear, brothers and sisters. Student Bible, Jesus used to keep that day holy. And the next topic, we will see that the next Bible study, some people accuse Jesus. They say Jesus used to work up the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And we will see never Jesus didn't do that because the Bible is very clear in 1 Peter chapter 2, 22. 1 Peter 2, verse 22, the Bible says Jesus never sinned. Anyone that says Jesus used to transgress the Sabbath, that means that person accused Jesus as a sinner. The Bible is very clear in 1 Peter chapter 2, 22, the Bible says Jesus never sinned. And what mean a Christian? If Jesus used to keep that day holy, I have a question for you. What mean Christian? What means somebody that is Christian? I know you know the hands well. The answer is very clear. A Christian is someone that is following Christ. You remember at Antioch, that was the first place they called those disciples Christian. That is a follower of Christ. If you are a follower of Christ, that means you are a disciple of Christ. If Christ used to do something, do you have to do it too? Of course you have to do it too, because the Bible says in John chapter 14 verse 6, and John chapter 14, verse 6, by the time can someone find 1 John chapter 2, verse 6 for me. 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. John 14, verse 6, equal to 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. Let's see what John chapter 14, verse 6, when someone is find 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. It's the same person, John, John. And John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said what? I am the way. When he said he's the way, that means if you are following him, what you have to do? You have to do anything Jesus used to do. If Jesus never go to the temple on Sunday, are you supposed to do it on Sunday, you? No. If you are following Christ, you will go where? Which day? 
on the Sabbath day, as Jesus used to do. And 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. Is anybody find it? 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. 1 John chapter yes. 2, verse 6. He that saith he abideth in him, he ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Amen. If you say you abide in Christ, if you say you are a Christian, you have to do what? You have to walk like Jesus used to walk. You have to follow his step. Any Christian that not doing what Christ used to do, that means you're not a good Christian yet. It's what the Bible says, not me. But if we are a disciple, a Christian, we have to follow Christ. Not a church, mm -hmm. not a pastor, not someone. But Christ is the only example we have, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I have another question to finish the Bible study today. If Christ come back today, we know Jesus will never put his feet on this earth no more. When he will come back, he will stay on the air. According, you know, when we read Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, we know that he will stay on the air. But let's say Jesus come back on earth now to spend one year with us. One example. We know it's not true, but one example. Which day you think Jesus will keep, will go to church? Which day you think Jesus will go to worship? What day? Let's see what day. The Bible gives us the exact answer. We will see that will never Sunday. It was not Sunday. It will be the Sabbath day. We are about to read Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. To see if Jesus Christ changed after he go to heaven. That means he become a different person. Because some people say after Jesus died, you know, the Sabbath stopped there at the cross. The next Bible study, we will see that. Is the Sabbath, you know, stop at the cross? We will see after Christ's death, people still keep the Sabbath day holy. We will see 40 years after, all those disciples, Paul, all of them, they used to keep that day holy. And brothers and sisters, let's read to answer that question. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8 will tell us if Jesus come today, which day Jesus will go to worship? What day he will go? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen, Elisa. Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday and forever. That means what? Jesus never changed. Jesus that used to keep the Sabbath day holy, if he come today, he will still keep that day holy. Because Jesus is the one that say none of those commandments will pass away. And Matthew chapter 5, 17 to 19, we read that last time. He said none of them will take off on the Ten Commandments. So brothers and sisters, we are about to finish the Bible study. Don't forget, if we love Christ, and John 14 verse 15, if you love Christ, we have to keep his commandments. And the next Bible study, we will see what time the Sabbath start. We know the Sabbath start from sunset to sunset. We will see that next time. Which day, according to the Bible, is the seventh day of the week? We're going to show you a Bible verse. Saturday is the seventh day of the week, not Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. And the next Bible study also, we will answer that question to see you know, those people after Christ's death, the disciple, the woman that came to uh, after God, Jesus died, all of them, we will see which day they used to worship. Because a lot of people, they said, it's done at the cross. We have Bible tests that show that Sabbath remained forever. And there is one verse I like to read before I finish. That just come on my mind. This one, I don't want to leave that verse behind. Let's read Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66. To answer, answer that question and finish today. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 22 to 24. When we make it to heaven, which day? What day we will worship when we go yeah. to heaven? What day? Is that Sunday? When Jesus comes, he takes us to heaven. And also to the new earth. Is that Saturday or Sunday? Is that the Shabbat day? We're going to worship God? Let's the Bible and swear us with that one. Let's finish with that Bible verse. 66. And Isaiah 66, verse 22 to 24.
the Bible always will answer that question. Even in heaven, because anything that was there before sin, God will bring them back again. Isaiah 66, verse 22 to 24. What day when we make it to heaven, we will worship God even in, in heaven. Is that Sunday or Sabbath day? That is Saturday. Can someone read it, please? For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before us, before me, saith the Lord. So shall your seed and your name remain. And it is, it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Amen. All flesh will do what? Come before me. Bow before me. All flesh will come what day? On the Sabbath day. Where? On the new earth and the new heaven, brothers and sisters. Not Sunday. It's very clear. I have to start because we already have 546. Do we have any question about Sabbath on the Old Testament? And next time we will see Sabbath more on the New Testament. Does anybody have a question? Do you have any question about the Sabbath? That is the fourth commandment. God give and God say, humanity have to keep that day holy. You know, Satan, you know, is a monkey. He likes to make copy. And we will study when they start, you know, to worship in different days. What was behind that? We will see the sun was behind that. We will study that in, in next two weeks. But the next Bible study, we will see Sabbath and the New Testament. We will see which day, how they give those day name, according to those planet, how they name those day. But when they name those day, we will see when the calendar, you know, they name them, what year. But when they did that, they changed Sabbath to Sunday. We will see that was not it's never happened and so it, and this will be never happen and we're going to see when god about to do something he changed his he sent his prophet and mm -hmm. brothers and sisters let me give one example i always give on my bible study the one example i want to give on my bible study today i have a book in my hand and i have a phone in my hand one of you any of you about to ask me you will say, Brother James, give me the book or the phone. Choose one of them. You can say, Brother James, give me the phone. Or you can say, Brother James, give me the book. Choose one. Any of you who want to do that? Give me the book. Okay. <laughs> Brother Ewald is the queen, the king on this planet Earth. He is the king. And he is over all law. And he said, give me the book. Me, I am nobody. A simple citizen. I said, no, I don't want to give you a book. I'm going to give you the phone. Mm -hmm. I want you to get the phone. Yeah. What you're going to do, but I will ask King. You will you take it? No. no. Huh? No, you no, said I, what? I give you the book. The book. I give you the phone. Why you don't take it? Because you never asked me what? A phone. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. God never asks people, women better to keep the first day holy. God said, remember to keep the seven day holy brothers and sisters. Even human being, as the king on planet Earth or any president, let's say Trudeau, any man, they give you an appointment. They say, I want to meet you every Saturday. And you come on Sunday. You think he will meet with you? Yeah. The first day he will say, okay, you didn't know. Okay, I accept you to come today. But next time, don't do it. My appointment is every Saturday with you. Yeah. You choose to go a different day. That is it. You know, you choose. That is what you want to do. But mm -hmm. God never asks people to keep the first day holy. And the first day will never make holy, mm -hmm. sanctify and bless. Because men can do, try to bless it, to hold it, but it will never happen. Mm -hmm. And the next Bible uh, verse, the next Bible uh, study we have, we will see that men can try to change something, but God will never accept it. We will see that it's better we obey to men or not obey, to, you know, it's better we obey to God, not to obey to men. We will see that in the next topic. 
Is there any question, brothers and sisters? My time is up. Is there any question today about Sabbath? If, if there is no question, we are about to pray. One last time, is there any question? Anything you want to add? So if there is none, next time we will see that. Nobody can change even your date of birth. So mm -hmm. the Sabbath was given for the memorial of the creation. The creation. That the only law that reminds us there is a God that creates. Mm -hmm. So remember when we studied last time about creation, the enemy sent men to say, we from monkey. You know, we from Bing Bang. Satan mm -hmm. want human being not to keep Sabbath because he don't want us to know where we come from. Yes. As long mm -hmm. as you don't know where you come from, that means you don't know who you are and you don't know where you're going. So this is the enemy that is working. Satan is working behind that, brothers and sisters. So God asks us, remember to keep the seven day holy. Let's make it and keep it holy. And together we will make it to heaven because God loves people that obey. Mm -hmm. Any question to pray? Any question? Okay, I see if there's no question. I got five mm -hmm. more minutes le left. I'm going to ask you one question to finish, for sure. That one, I'm about to finish with that one, for sure. How do you think the angels obey to God in heaven? How do you think the angels obey to God in heaven? The angels in heaven, they're not sin. A teacher was in a class. The teacher said, children, those kids was in the class. How do you think angels obey to God in heaven? Is anybody have the right answer? A young boy, he was his hand. He said, yes, I have the right answer. Okay. The angel, they obey to God. You know, they take your time. They see if it's good, they do it. The teacher say, no, that's not the right answer. Second one say, yes, me, I have the right answer. The angels, when God talked to them, you know, after they take their time, they, 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 they took their, their time, they look around, and finally they decide to do it. You know, his children, the teacher say no. There was a third one. That third one, he said, me, teacher, I have the right answer. The teacher say, go ahead. He said, when God speak to the angel in heaven, they obey very fast, quickly, without even think about it. They just obey. So if angel obey to God, angel that not sin, without even think very quick and they just obey when God speak to them. What about us human beings? Why we need to fight with God? A lot of people call say, yes, you can choose any day, Brother James. Why we keep talking about a day, day? Yes, it's very important for God because if you wake up one, you're guilty from all of them. James okay. 2 verse 10, 12. And yes, you can praise God any day. When it's come to worship, God say you have to stop your activity. Yeah. To worship, the word for Kadash, to worship. You have to stop off your activity and to worship God. That day he choose it. You cannot choose it. He already choose it for you. May God bless you, help you understand that. We don't play with God. He is king of kings. We are children of God. If we are children of God, we are the one to obey him. Not him have to obey us. And a lot of people, you forget about that wife. Mm -hmm. You know, lot wife just checking back, just look in the back. Just it's nothing important, eh? Just mm -hmm. look at the back. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But God said, did not look in the back. Mm -hmm. God said, keep the seven day holy. So it's very important for God. May God bless you and help you understand that. It's very important to keep that day holy. Is anybody today want to pray for us? We are about to ask God to help us to keep that day holy. A lot of people, they say they keep that day holy. They don't keep it holy. We are about to ask God to help us to keep that day holy. Because sometimes when it's come to Sabbath, we forget. We do anything. We say anything. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 58 verse 13, 14 say, you shall not speak any kind of thing in that day. Mm -hmm. Your thing have to be different in that day. The way you talk have to be different. Your action have to be different. You have to rest in that day, spiritually, physically, and do God's work in that day. Is that your will today? Is that your decision to keep that day holy? Is that your decision? Amen. If it's your decision, we are about to pray to ask God to help us. Not to disobey God, but to obey all his commandments. 
Is anybody want to do that prayer for us today? I have some soldiers online that can pray for us today. Anybody want to pray? Go ahead, Sister Elisa. Okay. Sister Elisa, go ahead. Dear Lord, thank you, Lord, for helping us um, to be here today on Zoom. And thank you for um, even waking us up as some people died. And please, Lord, be with all of the people that decided to keep your Sabbath holy, Lord. And please be with us all, Lord, and help us to share this message with others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you.